I want to start a, hopefully will become a YouTube series to help um, people that are going through um, hair loss, particularly people on the uh, kind of beginning side who have started to notice they're losing hair uh, and have a similar story, you know, similar to mine, and want to do something about it. Um, turns out I've done a lot of research and there are many options out there. Um, but the focus of this video series will be on a um, topical anti-androgen known as RU58841. Um, it is, like I said, a topical anti-androgen. What that means is it is fighting uh, hair loss at the um, kind of most fundamental level. Uh, dihydrotestosterone, as you're probably familiar with, binds with the androgen receptor. The androgen receptor, of course, is um, kind of nature's little genetic gift for you that, uh, of course, is causing your um, male pattern baldness. Um, however, you have multiple ways to block this um, so that those genes don't express themselves and you don't have um, a miniaturization of the hair follicles. So, uh, enough about that. What the solution is, like I said, RU58841. It comes in a white powder, which you can order from many uh, compounding um, facilities such as um, Ontario Chemicals. Um, this is where I purchased mine from. It's in Canada. I'm not in any way affiliated with them. Um, however, um, I have used their um, stuff and it has been great so far. You have to put it in a mixture of alcohol, alcohol and propylene glycol so that it can permeate the uh, or skin. Or, or um, It's kind of a uh, trans, um, dermal transport if you'd like to think of it that way. Um, the propylene glycol is mainly there to keep it on the skin um, because if it was just alcohol alone um, it would dry up before the RU58841 could interact with uh, the dermal papilla. So I have um, here a solution that I've already made up which hopefully in another video I'll show you how that's made um, and I have a certain application method that I've been using that might be helpful for people that have a, um, still quite a bit of hair and uh, need to get the solution um, on the scalp. So what I have come up with, and see I've already used half of it, um, is I take this uh, four milliliter syringe and um, I'm applying about 120 milligrams uh, nightly w within this four milliliters. However, I in no way am uh, trying to give uh, medical advice, um, but simply telling you how I am using RU58841 to help my um, male pattern baldness. But um, by no means, you know, you should always seek a, a professional medical opinion. Um, however, smaller doses, of course, are recommended to start out with, such as 50 milligrams. Um, of RU58841 in one application. So um, I'm kind of on the higher end of this. I have experienced no adverse side effects and I'm actually um, combining this with um, oral dutasteride, um, similar to finasteride, but it blocks both isomers of DHT. Well, I'll get into that in another video series, but uh, anyway. So my application technique is to take the syringe um, which of course gives me the needle in which I can direct the RU58841 onto the scalp. Of course I'm not in any way injecting it into the scalp, it's not the purpose of this, um, but simply dragging it along the scalp um, while ejecting the solution so that um, it doesn't get stuck in the hair, it's actually making it to the scalp. So this is kind of how I do it. And then again, depending on 
um, your condition, the severity of your hair loss. Um, you may not have to use such a fine needle to get through the hair. Uh, of course, if it's larger areas, it's always best to rub it in. Um, unfortunately for me, it's hard to do that with the, my hair density. Um, but I do rub it in on the frontal portion. Um, so hopefully that'll help you guys um, see a little bit of how I apply my RU um, 58841. Um, of course, there are many ways out there, and there are many different um, carrying vessels. Um, however, I'm using the propylene glycol um, alcohol uh, combination with a 70-30 ratio. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Thank you guys.